Welcome to the 2019-20 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle Video Number 7. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This training video will focus on a few monitor review issues. This is a very interesting play. The team in black is down one point with three seconds left in the game. Number three black dribbles the length of the floor, goes airborne, and releases a shot attempt. While it is difficult to see in full speed, the slow motion version appears to show the ball is still in number three's hand when the game clock goes to 0, zero, zero and the lead lights come on. Number one white, an illegal grounded secondary defender in the restricted area, sets up to take a charge. Since the game clock went to 0, zero, zero with the ball in number three's hand, all subsequent contact is ignored unless it is a flagrant two or a dead ball contact technical. Reference AR-124, ruling number three. The officials on this play should have called a foul on the play, used our new end of game monitor review protocol to confirm the ball was still in the hand and disallowed the foul by rule. Conversely, if the ball had been released prior to 0, zero, zero on the game clock and then contact with an illegal defender occurred, number three black would be entitled to two free throws since he was an airborne shooter and is entitled to land legally. There are many types of video cameras used in the production of a game. The next two clips show the use of a wide angle lens being used behind the backboard. You can tell that it is a wide angle lens by the distorted nature of the white rectangle on the backboard. Note the distortion of the top of the white rectangle on the backboard. Note the distortion of the top of the white rectangle on the backboard. The photo on the left shows what appears to be a ball outside of the cylinder with the rim at its base. The left photo was produced by a wide angle lens behind the backboard. You can tell it is a wide angle lens by the distortion of the top of the white rectangle on the backboard. The right photo is the front view of the same ball above the rim. This photo clearly shows a portion of the ball in the cylinder. Officials are instructed to ignore wide angle views from behind the backboard during basket interference monitor reviews. Officials should use wide angle lenses behind the board to view other pertinent plays such as flagrant one or flagrant two plays. Special thanks to the Southeastern Conference for testing the use of wide angle lenses and providing documentation. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.